Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Board of Blender Show. I'm your host, Eddie the Metaverse here, and today we're going to go through a bunch of stuff, give you some updates on what's going on with the Board of Blender Club. Um, the first, uh, let me show you here, um, I ordered a replica of a really good printer for the Buck FC Legit. Look at that. So you can order the poster at Buck FC in San Pedro, and you can get a replica. All the printouts uh, of, the, of this size are going to be in acrylic, so they look like a replica of the Legit, nice and shiny. Uh, you can get the, uh, those that are, are priced a little lower, uh, and you'll get a paper poster. Okay, you'll get an 11 by 14 in, uh, inch paper poster. And this one's a really fun one. I was able to sell one of my art prints to actually upland the company. I'm going to put this up in their Las Vegas office. Thank you very much, Lindsay, uh, for enjoying and believing in my art and my skill. This is going to look really cool in your office, guys. I can't wait to deliver it. It will have to be there when I come back from New York and Cooperstown, unfortunately. Uh, I came in yesterday, which is Saturday. Um, I leave uh, Tuesday uh, afternoon. So it gives me a window of about Monday to do, but I got a lot of stuff to catch up and clear out before I leave. I come back on the 24th, and I will be delivering it possibly on the 25th. I got that Smart Owl Coffee. Everybody, go to Buck Explorers in San Pedro, buy yourself a Buck Box, sponsored by Smart Owl Coffee. Get amazing coffee, you'll get the five flavor sampler. You'll get a replica of the FIFA mug and and a Buck t-shirt. Not this one. This is from Lucky Baldwin's in Pasadena. Uh, but I am making t-shirts now. Uh, the uh, heat press finally came in. I got some cool prints that I uh, bought from Ninja Transfers, and I'm going to get at it. Uh, I'm going to make a few for myself as, again, proof of concept. And so you can see what it looks like uh, you know, on a t-shirt, the, the designs. Uh, most of the designs will be probably of my uh, Buck Explorers, the Buck Nodes. Okay, I'm going to make shirts for that. All right, all right, all right. All that out of the way, let's get into the game itself. Here's Upland. I got it open uh, during, uh, not during, but in the United States section. Uh, if you remember, we do have uh, some Latin American cities opened up. Rio de Janeiro, Sao Paulo, both in Brazil, and then Buenos Aires in Argentina. Then up in Europe, we got uh, one, two, three, four cities open. There's Portugal in Spain, in Portugal, excuse me, Porto in Portugal. Uh, in, uh, on the English Isle, we have London and Birmingham open. And the newest member of the Upland Cities is Berlin. I currently am floating around Manhattan. Pick up that send. But before we do that, let's get into Upland Kingdoms. All the rage, right? I started an account. Uh, I bought four starter packs for the city of LA. I started to build some shit, and you know what? I kind of didn't check up on it. I got bored of it. Uh, it's been two weeks. All right, let's look it up. Let's see what's going on. Upland Kingdoms. Oh, right, what? Los Angeles. I'm being under attack. And there's a battle for liberation. Okay, let's see what this does. I hit okay. 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 And okay. Alright. This is in Arlington. Let's go to Los Angeles where my kingdom actually is at. Um, I got 17 of this stuff, 5 of this. I'm in my 13th year. Wow, okay. Uh, what resources do I have? Uh, I got some game meat. Nice, nice. Iron ore. Okay, good, good. Cool. Improvements. Got no improvements going on. You got one farm. You got 37 workers. Okay, they're not doing anything there. And I have this other place that is building a chopping block. Yeah, okay. Um, upkeep. It looks like the last of winter year 13 something. Yeah. Uh, okay, upkeep. I, uh, I don't know what this means. Are there any jobs? No jobs going on. Okay. The cool thing that I do like about this is um, you can sell this stuff for Upix. Uh, didn't I say you got 20, I think? I Price per unit, let's go 100 Upix per unit. I almost got 1,000. <laughs> okay, that's that. Um, <laughs> I got Upix land open, I have it always open um, because I like to do a lot of research. Uh, this is a good update for me to remind you. Uh, I reconstructed the pick a roll uh, channel. Uh, the menu itself was a little bunk. I was trying to link up the Honeycomb bot, which verifies wax wallets, to um, the uh, to our server. Uh, the white paper was accepted and it's still in process for uh, wax collection in the Atomic Hub marketplace. Uh, this way it'll be you know labeled and you can see it on your uh, Token Heads app. Um, and then I want to snowball after that and get white paper to verified uh, for all the other uh, bug entities. All right, that is the update for that stuff. Um, when it comes to what the Board of Blender Club is doing, uh, let's zoom over to our, actually let's zoom over to our nearest community here, Ridgewood. Um, it's being built out beautifully, uh, UV, um, Galactus, a lot of the founders are, uh, they're, um, 
you know, building up uh, Ridgewood here very nicely. Look at this. How beautiful this looks. Okay. Uh, we have Phila 215's shop finally opened up. They're a Buck Affiliate uh, shop. Uh, that's one of the graphics I did for them. Now, the race track has been submitted by Galactus. Uh, it will be around here, the Grover Cleveland Athletic Field. Uh, hopefully it gets put in here pretty soon. I haven't seen uh, any of them really come through. Uh, Y'all, uh, here KC, KJC Builders uh, Motor Shop should be opening up pretty soon. He submitted his artwork. And, cool update, I bought a block uh, from Chuck76. Uh, I bought this whole block. So we're slowly transferring all this uh, to uh, my collection. And go all the way around. Uh, so that's Ridgewood. We have a few uh, Meta Ventures opened up already. I mentioned earlier Queen's Gambit by Phila125. We got Block and Explorers by DBK Win. Very nice graphics. Ballway Football, also by DBK. Okay, nice, nice. Those two right there on the edge. Uh, we got Cornelia Putnam Legits. Now the Cornelia Putnam section is this here. Uh, I think it's these uh, three blocks. They're a historic section of Ridgewood uh, built in the late 18, early 1900s. 313 grind, that's what's up. Mary Putnam. Okay, both of them have kind of like the same background. I like it, I like it, keep it consistent. Okay. Oh, uh, and uh, since we're here, I will be uh, throwing parties here pretty soon uh, at Queens Brewery and Rockwall Studios. One, two, three. Yeah. That's Ridgewood. Uh, let's see here. The next board uplander club um community here we have a micro node that i started because it is the last hometown of johnny cash <laughs> uh and i wanted to find a place where um you know the entry can be pretty easy as you can see it's not minted out the gray area is still available to purchase uh, but uh, the racetrack will follow martindale up and then back down so pretty much covering what is downtown old hickory this area here how far do we go? I don't know yet. Uh, we might use Bryant Street to come back to come back down, or just cut across the Commons here, Common Grounds, and then all the way down Hadley, and then back around. So it'll be this loop here. But we'll see how it turns out. Um, I did. Uh, I went ahead and applied for a Meta Venture Block Explorer here at our first. This is the very first building board of Under Club myself built. So I put it up here. All right. That's going on in Nashville. So Buck Explorers, uh, I submitted the track for that area. Um, let's see here, next. Uh, this is one of our affiliate communities, Sherwood Estates. There we go. Uh, Coven X has done an amazing job building this place up. The strongest Indonesian node in all of Upland by far. Look how beautiful that looks. Done an amazing job building it up. Also submitted uh, uh, for a racetrack here. Look at all the meta ventures too. Sherwood Legit's Ultimate, Tokobola, Puppies and Company, Garuda Indonesian Shop. This was the first one. This is the one owned by Coven X. Coven Double X. Uh, we have Point Indomato, Soccer Go. Yeah, very well done. Coven Double X. Inwabi Studio. Look yeah, at this, beautiful. Look, Garuda Adventures Ornament. They got a showroom going on now already. Very beautiful. Very well done. Okay, that's Sherwood Estates. Then we go stay in the Midwest. Shoot up to Chicago. And another one of our uh, communities here is Norwood Park. We kind of share a border with Portage Park here. Jefferson Park uh, kind of cuts it right there in the middle. But we're close. Close neighbors. Norwood Park. Now, Norwood Park is going to be uh, a really happening place. It will be the starting point for Smart Owl Coffee. They'll have their first block explore shop here. Uh, and uh, we're still working out the kinks with uh, James to see how we can get his uh, Australian Rules Football Club housed in Norwood Park too. Beautiful, beautiful area. Uh, next is San Pedro. Uh, since our last conversation, I've had most of my Meta Ventures open up uh, in the downtown area, right along the track here. So we have Buck Motors San Pedro, Buck Explorers, which was already there, Buck FC, and Leatherheads LA. So that's open. Uh, I applied for my ornament shop to go here at the Mason's Lodge. That we have on 9th Street. Um, as you know, also we have World of Football here as uh, the lone purple dot. We hope to have some more, particularly uh, around here, the sardine. This is where we're going to put uh, one of the purple dots for what we hope to be is Limelight, a concert venue uh, developer app for music. I've been collecting a lot of the 360 videos to help uh, advance um, the content that we could use for 
So here we have again Los Angeles or San Pedro. Excuse me. Yeah, Old Hickory in Tennessee. Sherwood Estates. Kansas City. Uh, Noble Park in Chicago. Now we don't have a note in New Orleans, Detroit, or Cleveland, or Austin and Fort Worth area. Okay. We don't have anything there. We go all the way across the pond. We do have one in the Node of Nodes, and that is the okay. and that is uh, right over here, Knights Bridge and Belgravia. Uh, now I love the concept of what they're trying to do here: bring all these community leaders here to be able to uh, be able to um, have a place. Where we can all congregate and you know uh, update each other with not only what we want to do in Knightsbridge, but also throughout the Upland map. Okay, up in Northern California, because we have to have California on lockdown, we have Glenview. And if you didn't know, it is the node that our great friend uh, Loyal Doyle, uh, shout out to uh, the man there, uh, uh, started. He started this area. Um, Phoenix Finney uh, and and Fister both have a spectacular idea that was ahead of its time. Now it's kind of coming to fruition that STEM, the life token, is going to be introduced into Upland Metaverse. And they want to make Glenview a garden node. Yeah, so all of this will be filled with gardens. Um, we partnered up with uh, Floating Gardens, or Upland Puppet, if you, if you know them that way. Okay, uh, so that's Glenview. Yeah, so those are seven. So we got Glenview, San Pedro, Ridgewood, Norwood Park, okay. Sherwood Estates, yeah, Old Hickory, and uh, Knights Bridge, Bill Garvey, you. Um, just to be aware, we are going to start a race tournament to see who's going to be the number two racer for Burt, the Burt Uplander uh, racing team. Um, I'll be one of them. Uh, I get to have an, an alternative. So what we're going to do is split up the racing, uh, um, you know, the races between the two uh, racers. This uh, is my okay. first uh, secondary market uh, purchase. And I got a baddie. Look at this. This screams Burt Uplander Club, doesn't it? Yeah. So uh, once I'm able to create the 3D file, for this uh, baddie, I'm going to 3D print it. That's another big update that I got, along with the uh, heat press for it to making t-shirts. I got a 3D printer, y'all, and I'm going to start 3D printing a lot of these cars. Uh, I'm going to custom paint them with uh, race uh, memorabilia, logos, not memorabilia, excuse me, logos and insignias, uh, so that we can enjoy them in real life. Uh, yeah. When it comes to the website, I did clean it up a lot uh, by kind of streamlining and erasing some uh, sections we didn't need, uh, but breaking up some. So, for example, the buck shop, there are two of them now. You have Buckshop wearables where you can get the t-shirts and stuff that I'm going to start creating. Isn't that cool? Uh, these kicks are badass. I did order some for myself. Let's open it up. You see the uh, design on the back. And some black. Boom. 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 The white one's clean, though, too. So, again, I separated the two shops so you can get, you know, the wearable merchandise and then the Fidgetal Store. Now, the Fidgetal Store is what's connected to all the uh, uh, MetaVengers in the game. So here it gives you an uh, image of the Block Explorer that is for sale, number 56 of 500. This one in particular, if you buy it, you get this t-shirt. Okay, you come over here, I made videos of this before, you put in your t-shirt size, uh, and then you add to cart, and once you get into the cart and you're ready to pay, that's when you use the coupon code that I give you. You do have to currently, when you buy your Block Explorer from Block Explorers to get this t-shirt, go to the Discord server, um, there is a redemption channel in channel the, here. Discord server, and then if you scroll down, if you look at here in the buck info, um, oh, excuse me again, it's cramping up. <laughs> you can uh, go down to the bottom and go and see NFT redeem code. So I'll have the um, I'll have the uh, uh, automated bot where you put in your information, and it'll spit out a redemption code for you. Okay, and then you take that code and you go to the shop, the cart, and um, type it in, and it'll take everything off except for the shipping, and you'll be good to go after that. Uh, so I clean that up with the menu here. It checks out property, everything else. It's kind of still the same. I just added, when you go to Buck Community, I added the new communities to the selections that we have. Again, San Pedro, Ridgewood, Hickory uh, were the originals. Then we added Glenview, Norwood Park, Sherwood Estates, and Knightsbridge, Belgravia. Now, when it comes to Tokyo, Tokyo, we're going to coordinate, we're going to plan that out, and we're going to attack the shit out of that area uh, and make it a strong Buck node, Buck Community. And that's it. That really is now the, the end of it. Uh, thank you, everybody, for uh, sticking along. Uh, keep a lookout on... Uh, the Buck server. I'm going to be auctioning off some cool shit that I got from the Superfest. Some of these blank lanyard labels. Um, I will be auctioning off a lot of my collectible memorabilia too. Uh, I have a lot of autographed cards. This is a cool one. If you can see, it's out of 94. But it's a limited edition. 
And that's it. Thank you very much, everybody. Love you. Uh, Board Up Blender Club, Board Up Blender Show. Follow us on TikTok, uh, Twitter, Thread, Twitter Killer, <laughs> uh, Instagram, and on Facebook. All the links will be down below. Like, subscribe to the channel. Let's get that subscription uh, numbers up and tell your friends about it. Love you guys. Take care. Bye.